And um, a message from Kwabna and Tema comes up next. Says, hello there. I'm currently dating this young lady who dated a good friend of mine. I didn't know, but saw that they were friends on Instagram. I asked my friend if they had anything before, and he said nothing happened. The lady also didn't say anything to me about it. I proposed, she accepted, and I'm deeply in love with her. I later found out that she and my friend actually dated. What do I do? Because it's killing me inside. It's destroying our relationship slowly. What do you advise? Uh, oh. <laughs> his friend and his girlfriend. Who was that? Why would you say nothing happened? At least, you, you see, and I'm one of these people I'm, I'm about to describe. People who feel it's wrong to date or to be with someone who their friend was with. Right. One, because you don't want all the complications, and two, I'm just a dead loyal person, right? It should have been his choice to make whether he wants to be with someone his friend has been with before or not. Mm. But you robbed him of that choice. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Secondly, if you feel that you, I mean, understand that's not your fault. You didn't know the truth. You entered you, you with, a, with a mask on your face. Your, your, your fiancé lied to you, which is something you should be questioning. Mm. Your friend lied to you. You should also question what kind of a friend he is. Mm. And you should also be wondering, and I'm sure you are, that's one of the things that's yeah. eating you up inside, exactly what went down with them right. that would make them lie. Because if you dated the person... It's not a okay. big deal. It yeah. shouldn't be. Yeah. Yeah. What really happened? So if it, I, I don't know if you've spoken to your fiancé yet. If she's somebody you intend to marry because you're calling her your fiancé, mm. you need to have that conversation yeah. quick. If you're going to bed every night and you're seeing flashes of your friend and the, and the lady in your mind, mm -hmm. that's also a problem. You need yeah. to consider that. And then lastly, what I'll say is, really, if it's something that is really making you question yourself, um, go back and ask yourself what you're standing for, telling you that you've gone back on your morals and your values, then maybe this isn't the relationship for you. Because mm -hmm. if you marry her, it'll be worse. Mm -hmm. We just said that mm -hmm. the hard times, they come and go in mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Every time a hard time pops up, You'd be asking yourself, ah, could this be why my friend left her and he didn't tell me? Right. Every time you see your friend, you're watching football together, you're playing FIFA together, you're eating fufu together, mm -hmm. you'd be questioning whether this friendship is genuine or not, asking yourself what he did with your wife or your fiancé. It, it's, it's too messy and I don't even think you should entertain it. Mm -hmm. I don't. It would be difficult, especially if you're in love with her and knowing that you've got to this point with a clean heart and a clean mind. But... Sometimes prevention is better than cure. Mm. You, you, you don't want to get to the point where the truth will be staring you in the face and you realize that if you had known that truth, you wouldn't have entered the relationship at all. Mm. Okay. My question too is, so you found out, but they both don't know that you found out. He didn't say. So he didn't yeah. say. But like Apiako is saying, the foundation of every relationship is trust. If it's not there, it's either it's there or it's not. Mm. And if it's not there from the start, the get-go, there's no point being in the relationship. It's as easy and simple as that. And especially when it has to do with intimacy. This is not her probably stealing one CD from your wallet or anything. It has to do with intimacy. And when it comes to intimacy, men are a bit funny. I mm. could be wrong. No, it's true. You know, they're a bit funny. Yeah. Um, you know, it's about ego. It's about their prized possession. Mm. They want to be walking you down that aisle and knowing that hey this is my woman and he wouldn't i'm sure he wouldn't have minded if whoever it is in question was somebody who was far away yeah. was some ex right. some, so far right. away but this is somebody who is so close to him a friend and you would be with around them all the time and you know what they say about lai mumu mm -hmm. you know and the fact that they were not both both not honest with you for me it's a big problem right. so I think if you haven't questioned them, question them. Find out from them why they hid it from you because you were suspecting something from the start. That was why you were like, oh, you end up finding out on Instagram. Hey, so apparently you know this, my friend. And I'm sure the way they both brushed you off, you mm. were like, hmm. So once it doesn't sit well with you, it means that, and then plus now you have evidence. So I think that you should confront them, but I don't think it's a relationship you should be in no matter how much you love her uh, because, uh, I mean, it's chaotic already as it stands and there's no need progressing to the next level. Mm. Um, start afresh, move on, learn from your experiences, just move on. Right. Yeah, mm. yeah I agree with both of you. Um, I absolutely hate lies. Mm. I hate the term white lie. It's still a lie. Still a lie. <laughs> 
I honestly, because I feel like if you can lie, you can cheat, you can steal, you, you can, can kill, kill, you can do, you can do all sorts. <laughs> Lying is the foundation for a lot of horrible things. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, like you said, your relationship is built on a foundation of trust. Right from the start, your relationship was a lie. I'm sorry. Because right from the start, she presented herself in a particular way and you fell in love with that person who had not been with your friend. Now you know she's been with your friend. Did they sit down and decide? Did they communicate and say, oh, mm -hmm. let's not tell him? Ha has it been going on behind your back? Did that conversation reignite some attraction between them? And it might sound like something really minor, but if somebody can hide such a small, like, to me, it's not a big deal. Mm. I mean, you should have been able to tell them. But if someone can hide something so small from you for such a long time to the point where you're in love, did he say he proposed as his fiance mm -hmm. for that period of time? What else are they hiding? Mm -hmm. So for me, this this is a relationship breaker for me. I'm sorry. I just I don't see how you can move forward with this, mm. with somebody who can lie about something they really shouldn't have lied about. Question. What mm -hmm. if the girl comes clean? and says, okay, yeah, I mean, we dated and this is actually what happened or didn't. No, no. Still after, don't go after ahead. you've fallen after in love, fact, yeah. after you've proposed, after this long period of time, you should have been able to tell the truth mm. right from the start. Right. Yeah. And as soon as, assuming she, she does come clean, he forgives her. Like we said, men are funny. Yeah. The guy will always have trust issues. Mm, yeah. He'll be seeing her and his friend in his Together. That's why I yeah. use that. Oh, all people are funny. Yeah, men are very graphic. Mm, they true. see things. I mean, if <laughs> it's mm. the reason yeah. why it's easier for a woman to forgive her partner when, he when he's cheated on her. Mm. Mm. A man might, might even just hear, oh, you kissed him. Okay, I'm out. Finished. He's yeah. constantly imagining yeah. it. It will be a problem for them. Hmm. All right. Well, what are your comments on the, any of the conversations we've had here today? You can send a WhatsApp message to 054-998-6996. For those of you outside Ghana, you can prefix it with uh, country code plus 233, all right? Uh, 054699, like that. Okay, you get it. <laughs> anyway, so we'll go for a quick commercial break. And uh, when we return, more of your messages. Thank you for watching Sister Sister on your favorite City TV. Remember, it's every Friday night at 9 p.m. And well, if you want more exciting content, then please, by all means, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on that bell to receive notifications. One take. <laughs> All right, let's go. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching Sister Sister on your favorite city TV. Now, don't forget, if you want some more exciting content, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We call it the City Tube. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications for fresh updates.